Do you ever come to a point in your life that you're just so busy, there's so many things that you have to do or get done in the day and there's just not enough of you to do them? And you need a clone of yourself so you can edit videos or eat. Don't mind him, he's the dumb one. But today I'm gonna show you how to clone yourself. Let's do it. Okay, so today I'm gonna to show you guys on how to clone yourself in Premiere Pro. You could do um, two clones, one clone, whatever you wanna do. I'm just gonna go over, before you go into Premiere Pro, you wanna kinda of make your life easier with doing the shot. So setting up the shot is pretty key on where you place yourself because in Premiere Pro, you're gonna end up masking, masking in between on both, on one of the clips. So your other clip pops up. I'll end up showing you in Premiere Pro. Where you stand in video is key, super key. You also wanna use a tripod. Tripod makes will make your life a lot easier. If you're moving the camera around or have someone holding the camera, it's gonna be very difficult to do this. So. Have a tripod, make sure you're standing in the right spot. And then with audio, you'll wanna have, what I do is I have a little recorder or my, I use my phone. I'll put my phone off to the side and turn on, turn the recorder on. Then on the second shot, I'll turn that recorder on, just place it down by my feet so I can kind of hear it. So I can answer myself back or do facial expressions, like body expressions with what the other person says. It'll make your life 110 times easier if you do it that way because you'll only have to take the two shots or three shots that you end up doing in the first place rather than doing 20 of them because you're just guessing on the audio and trying to time yourself right on how to set it up. So let's go ahead and jump into Premiere Pro. As we hop into Premiere, Premiere Pro, sorry, I created a sequence already. It's called How to Clone. We're gonna go ahead and drag in our shots that we got and drag drag and dropping into the timeline with one of the shots and it'll set up the sequence i'm not going to change the sequence settings for now i'm just it's it was shot with 4k 60 fps but i'm just going to leave that settings leave the settings for now i in this video i ended up going into the sequence settings and changing that to 1080p um, but i won't get into that we're just gonna get into how to clone yourself. And I'm gonna go ahead and take the pieces and then try to line them up on when I shot them. I'm gonna have to use the audio, hence is why I'm wearing these headphones right now, and use the audio to kinda time them so the facial expressions and all, everything lines up perfectly. All right, so this part isn't too bad. You'll notice that on the timeline that I have down here, uh, you can open them up by double clicking and you can see the peaking with the audio, you can clearly see that the bottom one that I have, I was using my phone, so you can't really see the peaks. So you'll have to mute the first one and kind of get an idea of the loudest part of that clip. So right there it says come to, and then on the top clip, well, I'll just take this little peak right here where it says come to and line it up with wherever it says it in here. Or come to. So right here it says come to, and then I'm gonna take this peak and just line it up so it makes sense and you can kind of you can zoom in so it just lines up perfectly uh, a little too far a little too far here we go this might be a little bit easier kind of see where it, i put it Come to so perfect so that lines up perfectly right there and you can go ahead and pull that clip out to make it even and we're going to go ahead and mask the first clip so this is what you do so I'm gonna go ahead and take the first clip and put it on the top. So the first clip of me sitting in the chair, what you wanna do is go into your effects and controls, go to the beginning of all the clips that you have lined up so far and click on the masking tool, which is under opacity right here on the left-hand side under the effects control panel. And you wanna start masking a path around your picture. And right here, I enabled the stopwatch to start keying everything. Go ahead and click on the mask and then just start 
masking around your body and then connect those two points and you can go ahead pull those down and kind of even go ahead and even these out oops and if you pull pull down on them don't you can make you can round them off if you want so it works with rounded parts of the chair but you kind of get the idea um, on how to mask with that. So now if I play it back, Do it's obviously to gonna go through in your life and it's gonna have so the clip busy. underneath it There's as so well. Many it's a little choppy right now. It's because it hasn't been rendered yet. But if you notice, if I click on this other clip, you'll see the line going around me. It's a pretty noticeable line. In order to get rid of that, you'll want to go into that path, go back to the beginning of your clip so you don't mess up any of the keyframes. With that top clip that you masked out, go ahead and go down to the mask feather. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna feather that line so it kinda just blends in. So I'm just gonna go ahead and feather it to like 20, 22 I guess, and see what it looks like. So you can see that it's still kinda sharp right here on this this line and right in here too. Shadows can also play a huge factor in wanting to do this, but you can see as I drag it farther to the right, you see how that feather is out nicely. So it's at 50, I'm just gonna set it to 50. Yeah, 55. And it, I mean, it's not super noticeable, but it works. Do you ever come to a point? So now you have a clone of yourself sitting in the background and you can have yourself sitting in the front just like that. So we have the first clone down and you wanna be super careful when you're doing these shots too about your movements and happening to get into other frames and stuff. When you're masking, it's gonna be super hard. So I kind of tried to stay contained to the chair and not go outside of the chair so I didn't go over this line. I had the idea in mind and you kind of want to do that going into it as well. So when I go ahead and play this back for you, you'll see that when I point, I don't go over that line, that chair, I try to stay contained, but so just to give you an idea. So right there, you can see that my hand is just right along that line I feathered out, but it looks good. So. I try to stay contained to the chair. I didn't want to put my arm out here because then if you do that, you're going to end up getting into masking key by frame by frame. And that can be kind of tedious. So my thing I can't hit more is always set yourself up for success when taking the shot at first. And it'll make your life so much easier when it comes to doing this. Edit videos or... All right, next we're going to get into the third clone. and. I had this third clone sitting on the chair on this left left side right here. And like I said, I set myself up to kind of have some space in here to play with. And I kept myself contained to the chair. So I didn't go over that line that I'm gonna end up creating. This one's a little bit easier to do because I set myself up so well. I gave myself more room here to play with than right here in between the chair. But it still worked out pretty well. So. We're gonna go ahead and get into this third clip. So the first things first with this next one, we gotta go through the audio, make sure we can get that lined up with the previous clips that we just made. Go ahead and find those audio peaks with the, do you ever come to realize? Line that up with the other audio that we have. Zoom in on that so we can see where the come to realize is at. So that peaks right there and we need to line this up with this peak right here because that's where it says come to realize come to all right so we're going to go ahead and zoom in on this timeline so we can line up that audio perfectly and we're just gonna oh, try to align that as best we can and that looks pretty good we'll go ahead and play it back just to see what it sounds like do you ever come to perfect right on point so then we're gonna go ahead and extend that out so we can line them all up and then go down here and cut that. And to cut, I've been using the shortcut key. If you don't know how to cut clips, you hit C and that will pop open the little razor blade there and 
you can go ahead and cut clips. And to get back to your regular pointer, you just go ahead and hit V and it'll go back. There we go. All right, so now once we have those all lined up, we're gonna go ahead and mask the second clip, which is the one of me sitting in the chair here. We've already masked the one of me sitting right here in the center. And the final one to mask is the second one where I'm sitting right here. So we're gonna do the same thing we did with the first clip. We're gonna go into opacity, hit the pen tool, click mask path. We're gonna make sure our we're at the beginning of all of our clips on the timeline, mask the path, and go ahead and click on the mask so we can bring out the pen tool. And we're gonna go ahead and do our little drawing and connect all the dots. There we go. I'm gonna pull this off to the side so it's not in that. And we're gonna go ahead and feather it to 55, like the last one, just to see how it looks. Might as well do it. If not, we can do more. Let's just do like 70 and see how that looks. So we have a pretty, from the shadow of me sitting in the chair, you're gonna see this line. What you can do is just kind of mess around until it looks good to you, I guess. Um, whatever you prefer. But you can kind of try to go right on where the last one was masked if you want with the first clip that we have here. And just kind of go along that line if you'd like and see how that looks. It's still a pretty harsh line, <clears throat> but we can go ahead and try to feather it a little bit more, feather it out, just to kind of make it look a little more subtle. Do you ever come to a point so it's not too noticeable, but it is there. And then once we're all done with all these clips, we're gonna go ahead and render them out, and I'll be back in a second. All right, so this is the final product. This is what it comes out looking like after you're done masking and feathering. Do you ever come to a point in your life that you're just so busy, there's so many things that you have to do or get done in the day and there's just not enough of you to do them? Well, there you go. That is how to clone yourself in Premiere Pro. Just basics on how to set up the shot, setting up your audio, and bringing it all into Premiere Pro and being able to mask it out. Give it a shot. Let me know what you think. If you guys end up doing it out there, send me some of your clips. I'm kind of curious to what they look like. I've done this a few in the past on a few of my videos and I felt it would be kind of cool to show you guys how to do it. It's kind of weird and I don't know, it's fun to do. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully I explained that well. Slap the thumbs up button if this helped you out in any way or if you want me to do some more tutorials on how to do certain things that I do in my videos, subscribe to the channel because it supports the channel and it gives me a little motivation to keep doing what I do. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. Peace out. Man, what are you doing? We're supposed to be going to Moses Lake this weekend. It's Shark Week, dude. It's not even Shark Week. Nice try, whatever.